I now remember that yesterday I wanted a cool soda. Oh, now you got one. You just got to scrape it off the inside of your freezer. Oh, lesson learned. Always set an alarm if you're going to try to put something like a pop in the freezer. What's going on, Modern Chodes? It's your boy, Long Nail, back again with another new video. And in today's video, we're going over the hot posts from r slash, well, that sucks. Let's get into it. It won't break, bro. As it shatters into pieces when he drops it from chest height. Yeah, those things, they're pretty durable. But sometimes those unbreakable bowls and plates, they land just right or just wrong and they break. In Denmark, a flat screen was delivered on the right street and number, but the wrong town. Houses were not built yet. It was pouring rain. Not my TV. Uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a big mess up there, isn't it? I get it. It's probably the GPS that routed him to here, but you could have probably used your critical thinking skills and gone, huh, yeah, maybe don't put a TV out in the rain for a house that's not even built yet. I might want to double check this. Eh, too much work. Not my problem anyways. <laughs> Tire blew out on the way to work. Not a problem. I've got a spare. Nope, spare gave out too. Oh, I always wondered what happened if your spare blew out after you already had a tire blow out. And I guess you just get a tow truck and be really sad. UPS delivered my new monitor today. Awesome. Yeah, except they dropped it over a seven foot spiked wall. I mean, I, I, I don't know what these people are thinking because this box, it's not even in like an anonymous box. You can see what it's in the box. You just go, huh, monitor. Oh, it says fragile? Yeah, let's throw this over the top. <laughs> Bro, imagine if that was you. Would you still throw it over? Or would you find a way to get to the front door or call them or do something? Yeah, exactly. Sorry to whoever is missing the 10 extra pieces my puzzle came with. 10? Bro, I mean, honestly, at that point, I'd be a little less mad than if it was just one piece. 10 pieces, it's like, uh, you know... I really don't even get to see what it would be like. One piece, it's like, you're right there. I get it, they're both aggravating, but I'd rather this than just one piece. Because if it's just one piece, I think I probably lost it myself. But if it's 10, I know it wasn't my fault. So my entire house burned down. Oh, bro, these suck. And I, I just imagine you have a bad day at work and you come home and you go, Ah, oh, can't get any worse than this, except you don't have a home to go to. It just got worse. Oh, my heart goes out to stuff, though. Yeah, this kind of sums up my week. Ah, this is what it looks like when you shop at the Dollar Tree for absolutely everything. I mean, they got some good stuff, but just some things are not meant to be cheaped out on. Although, I probably would buy a can opener from there if I'm being honest. Boyfriend left bacon cooking while away on vacation for three days. Dude, I mean, this could have gone so much worse. You could have ended up like that other dude earlier that had a whole entire house burned down. Just consider yourself lucky. You did your best, chef. Uh, what? what? He did his best? I don't see anything good happening here. What's your best? Like, dropping the pan? Oh, well, you see, I kept, I don't know, 5% of the beans in there. That's pretty good, right? Wasn't paying attention while painting and drinking tea. Guess which one I just took a sip of. I'm going to guess not the tea. Probably that dirty paint water that kind of looks like the tea. Yeah, lesson learned. Today's my birthday. And all I can do to my restrictions is buy a whole box of donuts for myself. <laughs> what restrictions are you on that uh, you can't do anything else but eating a box of donuts is like A-OK? -okay. I mean... If that's a restrictive diet, I'm all in for restrictive diets. And honestly, this isn't that bad. You know, 12 donuts, that's easy. So my wife washed and dried my $300 sweater. Dude, a $300 sweater? What is that made of? Because uh, uh, first off, that trunk like 10X, you look ridiculous. But secondly, at no point am I spending 300 bucks on something that I can't just easily clean. But I guess I'm poor and he's probably not. 
water on the front rim screen of the car turns into ice immediately blocking the driver's view. Oh, uh, how does this even happen? It was just water and now your warm car turns it into ice? Somebody in the comments, please explain to me how that makes any sense. It snowed in Arizona. My dog was so excited about seeing snow for the first time. So she broke a window. <laughs> Dude, these dogs are insane. Just running through windows. And then the insane part is they act like they didn't just run into a window and shatter it. Like I've done that before, walking into a window. I know you sprinting into it hurt and you just act all tough. What is there a little cute pup around? All this from a single blood draw. Oh, and either they went through the vein or something else like that. Because, yeah, I've had blood drawn and it never looks like that. <laughs> they messed up. Our very own private indoor waterfall. Compliments from our upstairs neighbor's washing machine. Okay, that sucks, but how is there nothing else wrong with the rest of your ceiling? Like, there's no water damage. It's all just funneling into that one little fixture and pouring out. I mean, honestly, that sounds pretty lucky. Or does it just take time for those stains to form? Yeah, that's probably what happens. Oh. Lesson learned to not order anything in a glass bottle that'll be shipped via FedEx. Um, Honestly, I can't blame FedEx for this one. Or, I mean, I guess they can if they're the ones that packaged it. But whoever sent this to FedEx to ship to you packaged it terribly. I mean, just those little poppable bubbles is not enough for glass bottles. You should know that. Went grocery shopping after a long day of work to make a nice dinner for my girlfriend and I. And I dropped it on the ground. <laughs> but honestly, dude, that wouldn't have even been a nice dinner. You're not even making the sauce from scratch. You're using a jarred sauce, bro. That is garb. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, Modern Chodes, that's it for the hot posts from r slash, well, that sucks. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. And of course, share this video with your friends. And if you want to help support the channel for free, anytime you have any shopping to do on Amazon, just click the link in the description down below and do your shopping as regular. It won't cost you anything extra and it'll help support the channel. So I'd really appreciate it. Till next time, peace on.